Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a... Hey lovely people, big warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. Usually I might, um you know, put on a little bit of makeup or at least brush my hair. But I don't know, today has just been one of those days. It's been a busy, busy Sunday today. Yeah, with this, that and everything going on. So yeah, this is just, this is just me today. I've even got, look at that. Even got a nice little ice cream stain from a Mr. Whippy ice cream that Leo got at the car boot this morning. He then had a um, friend's birthday party, which he was really looking forward to, and I read the time wrong on the invite and was late. <laughs> Missed like the food and everything. Oh. But anyway, it's Motivation Monday, so no negativity here. Let's be positive, let's be motivated. And for my Motivation Monday this week, I thought I would do something that I often talk about online, but don't think I've ever made a video about which is my little morning rituals. I often get messages from people saying, how do you have energy in the morning? Like, how are you positive in the morning? Like, I just feel it really hard to get going. Don't get me wrong, some days, 100% literally cannot get going. But some days I do wake up, feel really motivated and really um, productive. And yeah, those days are the days where I tend to do my morning rituals. So basically there are five things that I can think of that will always, always change my mindset in the morning. And if I do these things, like I said, it really changes my mindset, makes me feel really positive, makes me feel more organised. Generally, highly recommend finding your morning rituals. I'm not saying that you have to do what I do in the morning, but I'm saying try and find your morning rituals whatever that might be. It might look similar to mine, they might look completely different, but if you find them, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my gosh. You can pretty much expect me to be sneezing in all my videos for the next like three months. <clears throat> Thank you, hay fever. In fact, the window's open, I'm gonna shut that. No open windows allowed. <laughs> now I need a tissue. Oh. Okay, reset. Go again, little Rudolph nose. So yeah, these are my five morning rituals that work for me. Okay, so the first one is one that loads of you probably use or already do, which is making the bed. Making the bed, I don't know what it is about making the bed, but it makes me feel so much better. It just completely lifts my mood when I make the bed. I don't know why. There's something about it. There's something about the physical act of it, you know, putting yesterday to bed as it were and yeah just knowing that the night time's over and it's a new day I don't know there's something about like the symbolism of making the bed plus obviously your bedroom looking neat and tidy that really really like switches something and gets me out of slumpy morning mode and into a much more positive mode so yeah that's the first thing that I try to do um in the morning is make the bed Okay, my number two is to load the dishwasher. So now, this is dependent on whether it's full or empty. In this instance, I'm loading the dishwasher and turning it on, but on a different morning, it might be that the dishwasher is clean, and obviously in that case, I will empty the dishwasher and then reload it. But in this case, it's almost full, so I'm just putting the last few, thing, few things from last night and the morning into the dishwasher and turning it on. Such a simple thing. It takes literally, like, three to five minutes. And there is something about the noise of the dishwasher that totally changes my mood. Like, it's like a really productive noise. If I hear the little hum of the dishwasher go in the kitchen, I think, right, I've done something. I've done something this morning, done something productive, the dishwasher's on. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know if anyone else agrees with me, but totally, totally works for me. Okay, my number three is to just wipe down the kitchen. So no massive cleaning jobs. You know, they can be quite an unrealistic task in the morning sometimes. Obviously it depends what your morning looks like, but you know, if it's a school run morning and you've got all your kids and you're having to feed them, clothe them, the lot, thought of being able to give the bathroom like a deep clean. It's just, it's not a realistic time of day to be able to do that. Don't get me wrong, there are some mornings, like if Clint happens to be home or something, where I might be able to do something a bit more in depth. But every morning I just tell myself that I'll wipe down the kitchen and that's that. So there might just be little messes from making dinner the night before. So I literally just get a cloth and just give all of the surfaces in the kitchen one little wipe down. It literally takes minutes 
and I feel so much better for it. If I've got an extra minute, I always like to clean the sink as well. There's something about a filthy sink that sort of affects my mood. So I find if I just quickly run my dishomatic around the sink and just make it nice and shiny. I'm also just gonna give the little plug holes a little once over as you can see. And yeah, the shiny sink with the mark free surfaces, it took minutes and yeah it really affects how i feel my number four is to put on a load of washing or alternatively if you happen to put on a load you know before you went to bed take out the load and hang it on but for me i'm going to put on a load of washing i'm going to put on a white wash i always do a white wash on a sunday because of school uniforms obviously for the following week so again i just find it really therapeutic to put on a load of washing similar to what i said about the dishwasher there is something about the noise of the washing machine spinning round that makes my brain feel really satisfied <laughs> it just makes me feel like i've i've done something really productive that morning so again it's something really quick that just takes a few minutes just shove the washing in put in your bits and bobs turn it on and there you go already that's like your fourth job that you've done that morning and my last one my number five is to just clear up any evidence basically of the night before so i am guilty for um you know if if i don't eat with the kids and me and clint eat later uh, if we have dinner later and then you know we watch Netflix or something we go to bed like I will never clean up after myself on the night I wish I would just clean up all evidence of dinner and everything there and then and then wake up to a spotless house but I just don't I'm just always so knackered <laughs> we're all tired aren't we and um I just leave it and do it in the morning so yeah my number five is just to have a sweep around and just tidy up any evidence that sounds dodgy but you know what I mean of the night before so um yeah last night was actually a Saturday night so as you can see we had um a pizza night so I'm just gonna dispose of all the pizza boxes and drinks and everything else that's in the living room and just tidy up the living room a little bit and then the boys dinner I'm just gonna wipe down their mats and wipe down the dining table and yeah just any anything any mess that was made last night during feeding time for anyone <laughs> um yeah i like to just spend two minutes in the morning just erasing all of that basically so there you go that's my five things and in total probably took like less than 10 minutes really when you think about it but like those 10 minutes that i dedicate to my rituals in the morning just completely change how I feel and completely set me up for the day. You know, I don't want you to be beating yourself up watching this. I do not do this seven days a week. There are mornings when I just lie on the sofa with the kids and do not want to move. I don't move, I just listen to my body and do it. But yeah, most of the time I do try and stick to this and it really does help. And then by the time I've taken my eldest to school, and come back I feel good to go and ready to get on with you know whatever work or anything else you've got on for that day so yeah as I said my advice to you is to be to really think about your morning rituals what they might look like what you think you would respond really positively to don't pick anything that would take too long be too much hard work just keep keep the expectation minimal basically and yeah give it a go and just see how it changes how you feel oh my gosh I've just looked in the mirror and oh <laughs> Now my eyes have gone red, I'm just so... Oh, I'm gonna stop talking about Havy though, because I feel like it's all I talk about at the moment, but I'm so over it. But anyway, I need to go and get another tissue. And thank you so much for watching my latest Motivation Monday. If you're new, I upload three times a week. So they're not all Motivation Mondays, obviously. Wednesdays, I tend to upload a vlog, and Fridays, I tend to do something else, whatever that might be. But yeah, make sure you subscribe if you're new, and I will see you lovely people in my next video.